2018 Mazda CX-5 rear taillight housing and bulb replacement. So first you want to get a small flathead and pop this little cover off. If you don't have a flathead, you could use something thinner like a butter knife or something. I don't know. Um, there's your two screws. Let's get these out. Those are just regular Phillips screws. And I'm going to show you how to do the taillight bulb first if you're just doing a brake light or a, you know, a blinker or something. Get these out. Save them. Um, and then I'll show you how to get the whole replacement of the housing if you need to. So you're going to wiggle this and pull it out towards you, straight out. Pull it out straight towards you, it should pop off. They can be very stubborn sometimes. Uh, basically, you got to pull it straight because there's this little uh, thing. I'll show you in a minute. But uh, if you want to do your taillight bulb, you just twist this little housing, this little gray thing. It'll be stubborn. And then you pull it out. Try not to pull in the wires like I just did. And... Um, yeah, and then you could get your bulb out. Here's the other one down here. So there, I, the first one was the blinker I pulled out, and then the brake light was the other one. Now, I'm doing the whole housing. Um, and the, the housing comes with bulbs and a new wire harness. Uh, to do the harness part and everything that this runs through, you got to take the whole like side panel off almost. So what you want to do is if you're doing this... Um, if you're doing bulbs, just switch the bulbs out. But if you're doing a whole housing, if you want, you could just use the old wiring and just put the new housing on. That would be like the easiest way if you're in the driveway and you're just trying to get it done. But I'm going to show you how to do the whole thing. You, you got to get a little balls deep in this. Um, but, uh, you know, we're all about getting balls deep. And uh, so first you want to pull this, uh, this um, weather strip off and then the... the you gotta get this out, pop this cover off, get this screw out. And basically what we're trying to do is just um, get enough room to pull this panel out so we can unhook the wire harness and pull it out. Uh, this has to come off. There's uh, some clips, I believe, in the front of that. So you gotta get those clips out. You gotta get this off, this little hook on the bottom right. Take that cover off and then there's a 10 millimeter screw, I mean bolt. Go ahead and get this off. I know I'm moving fast, guys, and uh, you know, but there's like a lot of stuff you gotta take off. Just think about taking everything out of the way and off so you could pull this panel out. And uh, again, this is to get the wire harness out. Um, here's a clip you gotta get out once you lift this uh, step piece up. These just pop up. You, you pop the center part up, and then it'll come up. And uh, again, this is just to replace the wire harness on the uh, the housing. Next, pull out the uh, the whole spare tire um, little uh, platform thing. Get this um, bolt out right up here. There's a little foam piece. You need to get it out. Be careful not to break this. You take the wire out first of it. And then you should have enough room to reach back there. See, there's our wire harness right there. And basically, all we gotta do is disconnect that white connector down there. I know it's hard to see. Not this one. Right down there. We just gotta be able to have enough arm room to reach in there and disconnect it. And, uh, you know, this is the only way that I've found to do it. Obviously, if there was a little shortcut way or like a little panel you could take off and reach in there, I would have done it that way. But uh, it seems like we had to take all that stuff off. So you disconnect it, uh, basically there's a button on the black part, a little tab, you push down on the tab and then you could uh, pull the white part out. Um, but once you get it out, you can uh, just get like a flat head and, and just push right here on the outside and just pull this foam out real easy. And like I said, you don't have to get this out. If your wiring is good and you're just doing, and you want to do the housing, you could just switch over you can take off the new wire harness from the new housing and just use the old one. Here's my part number. This is for the taillight housing. Um, and just a reminder, if you're just doing a brake bulb or a taillight bulb or a blinker, you don't need to do all this. This is just to get the, um, the new wiring in. So this just pops in place. You just put it in, you know, just run, push the wire harness through, and it'll just pop in place. And then uh, just reach in here and connect the connector. Go ahead and get this in. I got like one hand on the camera, one hand doing it, so that's why it's, okay, it's good, it's in. And then I recommend hitting the brakes or having someone press on the brakes and making sure they light up and everything's good before you put all this back together. Uh, when you put it on, there's a little C 
little spot right here and when you push this on push it straight in so that goes over that clip all right guys that's it for this quick tutorial i know it went fast but uh hope it helped